video and I'll explain some things to you. This is why a lot of people are not making money in our business. Look at this. Abi, see, not like I'm against networking market, no networkers. No problem. But the way when Nigeria they take drugs, ah ah. Okay, maybe we see how Obodo Ibo people they take drugs. Hello, I am Professor Paul Minkels, and I would love you to permit me a few. Thank you, Natasha. So back to what I was saying. Um, I'm a networker. I lost my job during the COVID-19 pandemic period. And life became so hard, life became so difficult for me and my family. A friend of mine introduced me to a networking business. And ever since I joined this networking business, life changed. However, it wasn't that easy. I had to work my ass off. It's it it's it's isn't something miracle money making machine. It's something that has to be consistent, determined, focused. You have to work your ass off. And then it pays a whole lot. So I would love you to hit my bio and follow me on Twitter, Instagram. See you some other time. Okay, now back to my dear continent. See them. Okay. No, ah. no, no, you don't wash my car. Oh, I don't want to wash your car. I want to wash your life. Sorry to disturb you. My name is Justin Chinoji. I'm from a life changing company. This company brought to everyone a life changing opportunity. This opportunity can change your life from nobody to somebody, from Guatemala to Guatemala. The company from USA, they entered this country new. Now, the company says you should just partner with them, and then you bring two people. Then that two people, you encourage them to bring another two people. Wow. They will still bring another two people. Yeah. Then they will bring another two people. Then you start making money. You know, life is all about motivating and duplicating. Because in this life, if you did not duplicate, you manipulate. Hey. So I joined the business. I did not listen to what people were saying. I did it with all my energy. Oh. I started it with just two months. I have introduced a lot of people to this company and their life has changed. There is one woman I introduced this business to in Osaka. You know, I was studying in Osaka UNN. Mm. There is one woman I introduced this business to in Osaka here. Mm. The woman is driving new legs of 350 of There is another uh, man from a boy state I introduced this business to. That man is driving Prado Jeep. There is another person I introduced this business to in Portal Court. The person is driving new lettered C300 AMG Benz. But did you introduce the business to yourself? Oh my I God. I told you, I, these people I'm telling you about are the people I introduced the business to. When I introduced the business to them, they came into the business and the business transformed their But life. did you introduce it to yourself? Okay, sorry if I may ask you, what do you do for a living? I sell cow. You sell cow? Mm. Okay. Now, when you die, I am not going to die. Everybody must die. No, I will not die. Okay, even if you will not die. Mm. Now, let me tell you something. If you are not here to be found now, they will find me. Okay. Uh, my now, will... let me tell you the difference about this business and selling cow. Okay. Mm. Now, this business is a business that even when you are dead, the company from USK, they will start looking for your children or your great grandchildren or anybody close to you so that they will transfer your income to that person. Because it is a generational business. Please come, bring your head. Bring your head. Do you want to understand more bit? Yes. No, no, okay, okay. Did you feel the air condition? Uh, yeah, your car is cool. It's a cool, but it's a manageable car. It's not compared to the car we drive in. So bring your head again. I just want to understand the business. Okay, yeah. I should bring my head yeah, again. Bring your head. Okay. So, as I was saying, you can't. Look at yourself. Look at your shoe. Oh my god. What happened to my shoe? Look at the car and driving. You come here and say you want to come and show me business. It's not about where you are there. It is not how fast it is that way. Life is not all about where you are today. It's all about where you are going to be tomorrow. Shut up. Okay, so I had to share that video. But like I said earlier, remember what I said before. I had to start by sharing my income first. So that you guys can see the possibility of what network marketing can do for you before playing that video. There are so many things wrong with that video. So many things wrong with that video. And I want you people to start telling me what are the things that are wrong with that video. There are so many of them. All, but let me know some of the things that you saw that are wrong with that video. Let's, let's, let's bring some together. 
before I start the training. Let's brainstorm together. What are the things that are wrong with that, with that video, with that approach, with everything? Someone said his approach. Someone said his appearance. Someone said um, appearance is bad, bad dressing. He's desperate, not professional, fantastic. His appearance, his appearance, not being dressed, manners. Okay, 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 awesome. Awesome. Bad dressing, his appearance. Okay, bad presentation, okay. First, he's professional, okay, starting from his looks, okay, his choice of words, okay, the approach, preaching, yes, 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 not creative, exactly, lack of knowledge, not lack of knowledge, not skilled, okay, bad presentation, the presenter isn't in the business, okay, he's dressed to represent, okay, 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 all right, so, the truth is this, I know why I shared that video, because a lot of people are giving network marketing a bad name, bad name I, mean, I mean, and I wonder why they're not making money in this business. Why are you not making money? Why are you not making money? Why do you keep prospects, prospects come to you, people run away from you, literally. People see you and then they are running from you. Instead of being attracted to you, they are running from you. Why is that? And I'm going to be sharing with you the taboos you must run from when building your MLM business. Especially those of you that are still new and desperate about getting to our level, tripling your, tripling your income, ten, you know, trying to 10x your income and all that. I'm going to share some of the things you must not be doing. Things you must not do. If you want to make money in our business, things I did not do. Maybe I had tried, you know, made mistakes with some of them, but I immediately retraced my steps immediately. You cannot, even if this guy likes it, the guy that we shared in that video, if he likes it, let him do network marketing for 1 million years. He would never, ever be rich. He cannot make it in this business. <laughs> no matter, it's as in, if he likes, let him talk from morning till night, talk for 1 million years. He will never, he can make money in any other business, but you see network marketing. That is the income he's talking about. He would never, ever make money in this business. Because there are so many things wrong with that, with that approach. Even if you're not making money, maybe he used money and buy, but, but I mean to buy that, those clothes he's wearing. Could he not have looked better? Could he not have looked better? So look at this. The first thing you must avoid is dressing unprofessionally. That is why you are the CEO of your business. When you're prospecting people, if I see someone like that on the street, I will not prospect someone like that on the street. I'm sorry. I won't because I know someone like that on the street will not make money in our business. That's the truth. That's the truth. Someone like that who's dressed like that, who is struggling, unless I am willing to, first of all, clean him up, make, I'll make him money already. Unless I'm ready to clean him up, then fine. I'll pick him up, change his dressing, Give him some money to put himself together before I start. So dressing unprofessionally is it's, it's disgusting. I don't want to talk to someone who's telling me about how to make money and everything. And the person is looking like, like, like they need help themselves. I'm not saying, you know, I will say this thing. I'm not saying, oh, you must have Gucci. You must have Prada. You must have this. No, that's not what I'm saying. But at least dress well. What you have, put it together. Put it together. Put it together. Smell nice. Don't come to people, your breath is smelly, you don't brush your teeth in the morning, your clothes, your, you don't use, if, I'm not saying you should buy very expensive perfumes, but they are very cheap perfumes, very cheap affordable perfumes. Buy deodorant, use it, look clean, smell nice. People will love to even be around you. Those of you that are, in fact, if you're listening to me now, please sniff your armpits, please, everybody. You're listening to me, sniff your armpits. Everybody sniff it. If your armpit is disgusting to you, please know that's that's what we've been suffering. That's what you're going to and what that's what entering the world with. You want to kill people today. That's your you're a murderer. You do not plan to kill people, but you've, you're murdering people today. You murder people today. You're a, you're a murderer without gun. That's your only crime. You're murdering people without without gun. Smell, no, I'm not seeing people, I'm seeing people's video. Nobody's sniffing their armpits. Sniff your armpits. Does it smell nice? There's a problem. Dress nice. You're approaching some high network people. You want them to join your team. How do you smell? How did you dress? Did you put yourself together well? How is your hair? Did you put your hair together? Did you put your, did you comb your hair nice? 
Yes, you don't, you're not, you're not wearing Brazilian hair. You're not wearing, it doesn't matter. I don't care for your Brazilian hair, but the hair that you've put on, is it nice? I don't like makeup. I don't like makeup. But you want people to join your business, Abby. You want to attract um, Linda KG. You want to attract, but you, you cannot make up. How is your dressing? How are you looking? When you go about questionnaire, how do you look? When you go about your business, I tell people, even in my office, you cannot afford to dress on nice any day. Dress well. You need to see how bankers dress. Dress well. It's your business. You're building a million dollar business. Dress well. You've seen my income. You're inspired by it. You think I got there by doing the business the way this guy was doing the business. I know I'm taking my time by, you know, with explaining this. Some of you will say, eh, I beg, it's stressful to dress well now. And yesterday I dressed well. Today, I will not really make up. I will not really do my face well. And you, your teammates will bring prospect. You want to carry that face and close down a prospect to join with that one account. Really? You hang out every day. Do you know who you can meet? Please, me, I will not tell people how to dress. I'm not going to come and tell people, eh, yo, don't. But I always advise, in the course of doing the business, especially women, don't show your body, right? Don't wear things that will show your cleavage, that will show a lot of your body. Because if you're talking to a man, especially, just know that the man will not, he, even if he joins the business, he will not do it. You'll be, you'll be pushing him, pushing him. But what he's looking for is another thing he's looking for. Dress well, dress professionally. Dress professionally. Very important, please. The number two thing. That was wrong with that video was bad posture. The guy's posture was terrible. Was he confident? Yes, he was confident, but ignorantly, most as he was just, he was just the confidence was not even important to me anymore because his posture was terrible. The way he was talking, if you don't, don't join us, it's not about where you are going to, it's about where you're what nonsense. Why do you even talk like that? Why, 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 why are you talking like that? I'm not saying you must speak like um, 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 the Americans when they, are, you know, when they talk or like you're from London. No, that's not what I'm saying. The way you talk. The reason why I'm, I'm speaking like this because I'm angry. But if it was a prospect, this is not the way I'll be talking. I'll talk calmly. You're trying to get someone to, you know, join what you're doing. The way the guy was, as in, I'm sure he has finished spitting on the guy. Talk calmly. How, how is your posture? How is your posture? There's a way you should, you know, walk. See the way the guy was even walking, leg, throwing leg anyhow. And yet he wants to make money from this business. He must have a good posture. Number three, sounding unprofessional. The way he was talking was useless, was nonsense. I know it was a joke, yeah. But it was shocking that some people talk nearly like that. Sounding unprofessional, very wrong. How are you talking? Even if your prospect is getting angry, don't respond in an angry manner. Oh, are you serious? Um, I would take it that you do not understand what we do. Okay? If someone says you're a scam, don't say, you too, you're a scam. You're a scam. And no, don't go about it that way. Don't be unprofessional. Don't sound unprofessional. What you say is, oh, well, it's not a scam. I understand where you're coming from. Nigerians have been born. So many people have been born because probably you put your money and then they took your money. But guess what? Our business doesn't pay you for putting in money. No, it pays you because you're providing value for the company. Anything that, anything, scams or schemes, all these Ponzi schemes are things where you're not providing value in terms of, you know, products or service. You're just getting money for nothing. And anything like that will eventually crash. And that's not what I'm doing. Okay? So the way you'll explain it to the person, the person will know that, okay, okay, oh, let me listen to this person. This person, they know what they are saying. They know what they are doing. Don't sound a professional. Don't fight with your prospect. Be the bigger person in that conversation. Number four, don't go about your business without improving on yourself. Do you know how many videos I've watched in this business? There are some people I admire in this business that I watch and drink their trainings. I like the way they talk. I like the way they dress. I like the way they walk. I want to be like them. Don't go about this business without improving on yourself. Why are we always doing, why did we introduce um, personal development art? Anything that is dedicated towards helping you to build yourself, trust me, grab it. Now, let me share this thing immediately before I continue with the training. When we were growing up, because some people will look at me right now and they'll be thinking, eh, it's because they had it better now. That's why you're speaking well. No, when we're growing up, 
my mother came into my, you know, the house that's got married to my, my dad. And then in her mind, she thought my dad was so, because my dad is a, I think when they got married, my dad was already a, a doctor, right? Not a medical doctor, like, uh -huh. so my dad was already a doctor. So when my, my mom gave back to my elder brother, my mom started by saying, hey, Carl, come here, come this, do the, my dad just called my mom and warned my mom, changed it for my mom and said, ah, don't, I don't want to hear English in this house. I want, my dad is a very traditional man. You will not even believe, for someone who is a professor, you will not even believe it. My dad said, don't ever speak English to my children. I want all of them to have good knowledge of the Igbo language, to speak it so well. That's why I speak Igbo very well. Sometimes people listen to my brother like, ah, I didn't even know you could speak Igbo. I never knew. I never knew you could speak Igbo very well. I speak Igbo very, very well. So I grew up, trust me, I remember when sometimes I'll be with my friends and they're speaking English and they're speaking, me, I'll not talk. People would think, oh, she's just a calm person. Oh, well, not because I'm a calm person. No. I don't know how I go take reason with you and my English will go out go well. <laughs> I started reading books. I started, because well, that's how we're raised. I started reading books. My primary school was even funny. My primary school that they were using English, some Igbo sometimes to teach us, teach us some, you know, English. They're teaching biology and they're using Igbo. Do you understand? So I'm not saying this to just because I want to motivate you people. That was, that's the entire truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. But guess what? Did I allow, how did they used to say, let me talk like a motivational speaker. Did I allow my background, keep my back to the ground? No. Because I knew I, I knew I was going to. Read books, improve on your vocabulary. Improve on your vocabulary. Read about etiquette. Read about how things, how to talk, how to carry yourself, how to sit. I remember those days when I when growing up, my mom tell us, sit like a lady, sit like a lady. When we're growing up, there's a way I used to sit. Sometimes I just sit and open my leg. I would say, sit like a lady. So most times when I sit, I cross my leg. Even if I don't cross my leg, there's a way I'll keep my leg. Looking like it's crossed, but it's not crossed, but I'll put my leg together, sitting like a lady. The way I carry myself, some people, I know how many people that say, oh my God, I like the way Didi walks. I like the way Didi carries herself. I like it. It, it took a lot of work. It's not that I just started doing it though. No, it took a lot, a lot of work. Don't go about the business without consciously building yourself. How do you talk? How do you carry yourself? Do you have good command of the English language? Work on it. Work on it. I speak Igbo so well, and I speak English so well as well. Read books. Read books. Watch, watch. I mean, I, will, I don't want to say movies because some of you will now watch movies and you will now be carried away. Watch more, uh, motivational videos. Build on your vocabulary. By the time that there's some of you now that I'm sure when they play, they play um, um, Eric Worry, some of you will just be watching the Eric Worry video. You will not be understanding anything. What are they even saying? You just want the video to finish so that the presenter or the trainer will just explain what, the, what is being explained. But if you keep listening to these things, guess what? You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. You get used to it. And when you're talking, you notice that the way you talk has changed. You notice that some people don't even know I'm Igbo. Some, except when I'm just talking, because I'm talking to you people, you guys are my family. But when I'm in some places, this is not the way I talk. When I'm in some places, this is not the way. If, 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 if a, some high-end prospectors here, the way I'll be talking, oh, really? Are you serious? Oh, nice. I didn't know about that. Oh, tell me more. The person will not know I'm Igbo. Think Igbo woman like this. So carry yourself well. Then number five, thinking your problem is just generic. I share questionnaires a lot in my, in my business. So I'm not even here to come and say, don't share questionnaire. It's a must to, <laughs> at the beginning of your business, except you have other ways of. You want to be Ambassador Ronke, you want to be Ambassador Michael Coley. How does she, how does she work? How does it work? What books is he reading to improve on himself? Very, very important. Very important. The number six, some people have terrible work ethic. Very, very terrible work ethic. And that is not acceptable in network marketing. You are a part-timer. I've explained this during the training that I did about um, um, industrializing the connected economy. You are a part-timer. Yes, we understand we're a part-timer, but what is your work ethic for your part-time job or your part-time business and for this business? Or you've decided you're going to give the business three hours in a day. What are those three hours you're giving to this business? And are you consistent with it? Do you read books when you say you read books? Do you come for cell meetings? Are you, are you disciplined with coming for cell meetings? It's not acceptable to have a terrible work ethic. It's not acceptable. What is your money routine like? 
It's not acceptable. You don't, it's not just whenever I wake up, that's when I'll start my business. No, it's not acceptable. It's not when you wake up, you start doing your business. No. What is your routine? Your, there must be a routine to your business. Then number seven, going about prospecting like a hunter, not a farmer. That's another problem this guy had. He was going about like a hunter. As if any, any prospect he sees like this, pew, you just shoot the person. Any prospect he sees like this, pew, you just shoot the person. And these are the people that, that prospects avoid. They're scared of them. These are people that are giving network marketing a bad name. If you're listening to me, please, disease, like run from this thing, run from this behavior. You must be a farmer. When you meet someone, that's why I, you know, people who just, the thing about prospecting, now I need to say this quickly, yeah? The thing about prospecting through um, cold marketing, yeah, I find it, I find, I find it, um, um, I see it as an easy way out in network marketing. Yes, it's good, but it's an easy way out in network marketing. People who just um, drop leads and then, I mean, who pay for Facebook ads and then they go, go to sleep and then wait for the leads to come and then they start making calls and just be booking people, booking people. I see it as a lazy way of building network marketing because that's not how I built my business. I created relationships in my business. I created relationships in my business. I took my time. And the funny thing is, I noticed that the people who have stayed in my business are the people I, I consciously, you know, built my relationship with. I built my relationship with them before they even joined my business. For example, Jerry. How did I meet Jerry? I met Jerry as, um, um, when, when we're playing, um, was it handball or volleyball? I, I, I can't remember which one of them. In you know, made friends with him. We joked. There were other people there as well. All of us were playing together. We joked, had fun. What, what, what? I took a couple of numbers. Jerry's number was one of the ones I took. We became friends. That's network. That's prospecting. That's the real prospecting. It's not, oh, I just generated leads. 10 leads, 20 leads. My Facebook ad. No. All this Facebook, Facebook ad thing is just like an added thing. But let me tell you, the real leads that you would build are the people you consciously built your relationship with them. So personally, for someone like that, let, let me tell you what I would do. That guy saw the guy, um, that, that, that's the, the, the network marketer, yeah, that we watch in the video. He saw that man in the car. He just knocked, but one, I started talking, talking trash. If it was me, what I would do would have been, maybe knock, oh my God, I really, really love your car. I just wanted to say, you know, this, I really, really love your car. How are you doing? Oh, okay, um, you live around this area. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, no problem. I like to make friends. Or maybe wait for him to come out of his car. Maybe wait for him to come out of his car. I'll just form another thing I used to do when, you know, when we we're earlier, earlier on in the business. I'll probably just maybe see him and say, ah, are you Tunde? I know he's not Tunde. Oh. I've never, in fact, I don't, know, I don't even know any Tunde in my life. Are you Tunde? You say, nope, I'm not Tunde. First of all, I'm already dressed well. Do you understand? I'm dressing well. So he, I'm, I dressed well. So you will not think this person is, is a hungry looking human being. Oh my God, you look so much like my friend today. Are you serious? Oh my God, are you serious? What do you do? I'm a banker. Are you serious? What bank? Conversation has entered. Where that conversation will lead to, I don't know. If the person is friendly, sometimes that conversation will go well. It may be friendly, right? If the person may not be friendly, I'll end the conversation move on because if you if the conversation if the guy is hostile that's why it must be very sensitive if the guy is maybe not really hostile but not really you know op not really open to having a conversation with me i'll end it because even if i try to go hard and haunt him he will still not join my business so i would you must build up like a farmer you must build up like a farmer another thing i could do is maybe wait for him to walk and say oh my god i love your shoes is a guy who I love your shoes. Compliments are the easiest ways to start your prospecting. Don't be lazy with prospecting. Prospecting is actually sweet though. It's not easy for introverts like us, but trust me, when you get, get on with it, when you start it, it's easier. Because if, if, when you prospect people that way, 10 of them, at least three of them will join. But if you generate 10 leads from your Facebook ad, there's no guarantee that out of that 10, that three will join. There's no guarantee. Out of the 10, none may join. In fact, Facebook leads, you must do lots of them, book hundreds of people before few, maybe one or two or three will join. But when you build relationships like that, more people will join. I'm using this as well to teach you how to prospect. Don't go about prospecting like a hunter. Go like a farmer. Even when you're, you're doing your follow-up, I was teaching some of my new people that I'm raising. I told them that, see, 
how to do follow up. If you see me do follow up sometimes, you you may even be asking me, uh, uh this person you're talking to is the person like related to you, because I enjoyed before you know me and the person were really talking and and just you know really talking. Are you serious? What do you do? Wow, wow, wow. You know, I used to have an aunt that blah, 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 blah. Sometimes I may even find out the person is from my state. That's another conversation. Are you serious? You're from this. Ah, small world. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, yeah, but I'm this and I'm married to this. Conversation has entered. Are you serious? Blah, 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 blah. And we're not close for Ah, now we're like, so if he's joining my business, he, 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 the person is thinking, ah, I'm joining my friend. They will not know that I consciously worked on that. They will not know that I can't, in their mind, they are thinking, they will no longer see joining me as doing me a favor. They won't see because they're not doing me a favor. They'll see, they'll see joining the business as me doing them a favor. Do you understand? If you're getting value so far, I want to go to the chat session and say, I'm getting value. If you're getting value, I want to go to the chat session and say, I'm getting value. Fantastic. So please don't make some of these mistakes some of us made. Don't make some of those mistakes. Don't go about prospecting like a, a, a hunter. Go about it like a farmer. Enjoy. Tell yourself you enjoy pro your prospecting. You enjoy making friends. You sit in along with someone. What are you tell telling the person? Oh, wow. I love your hair. Please don't can say you love what is not looking nice because the person will know that you're now trying to, you know, make the person feel somehow. If you don't like the hair, do it for something. You must find some something that you like. Man, don't go say, I like your lips. It will now, that one is a problem. Don't go say nonsense. Don't go say, Ambassador, you said we must compliment somebody. That Oh, you did not see something to compliment. It's now lips. Please, oh, if you compliment lips, that person will think that it's now another thing you want to do. Look for something, you know, sharp and smart. Oh, I love your composure. Even if the, the person did not dress well, the makeup is not nice. You can look, look, at, look for anything. Oh, I love your composure. The way you're just sitting calmly. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. What do you do? Conversation has started. The person will say, thank you so much. Oh, the person may even say, oh, I love your watch or something. And in conversation, there must be something to talk about. Then number eight, going about begging for money you can make in your MLM business. This one was not captured in that video, but I needed to talk about it. Some of you, you've spoken to your, your friend, um, Kunle. You've been talking to Kunle to join the business. Kunle, come and join. Oh, Kunle, hey, you buy car. Kunle, you do this one. Oh, Kunle, this business can make you this. Kunle, this and that and that. And then next thing, he choke you for neck. You start going to Kunle. Kunle, please, can you borrow me money? Kunle would never join your business again. Even if Kunle would join the business, Kunle will not join this business through you. Don't go about begging for money you can make in our business. I can't remember the last time I borrowed money. I can't, I'm not even joking with you. I'm not saying this because... Um, I just want to say things. I can't remember the last time I borrowed money. The money you're looking for is in this business. Grind the business now. Sit up. Get, get serious about your business. Challenge 36 that they've been thinking about. Have you been running Challenge 36? Have you been running it? Have you worked with your people to achieve Challenge 36? How many codes have you personally generated this month? Have you followed up on people? How many people have you booked? Or are you going to book for 12 noon today for the quick starter guide? Have you spoken to your teammates? Are you the type of people that every day you don't talk to at least one or two of your teammates, but you want to become a, a multi-millionaire in our business? Please don't go about begging for money you can make in our business. There's a lot of money to be made in this business. There are properties to buy. There are vacations to go on. There are shoes, Gucci, everything you want there in this business. Your health is failing. You need a lot of money to work on your health. This business has the money. Whatever it is you're looking for, it is there. Your confidence level is zero, blah, blah, blah. The business can help you build it up. Please don't forget number four. Don't go about this business without improving on yourself. Then number nine, making excuses when you should be making money. Making excuses. Some of you, you drink, sleep, cuddle, romance, excuses, your excuses. And that is why you're not making, you whine, you complain, you give excuses. Oh, you will not understand why I could not do this. You could not always give in excuses. And one thing I tell people is the moment you start giving one in excuses, start buying your excuses, your teammates will start doing the same thing. And the thing is this, you know, it's conscious. No, it's not, it's, it's not conscious. It's unconscious. I mean, so for example, let me give you an example. So let's say I find it hard to come for cell meetings in the morning. Whenever I wake up late i'm giving guys an example i don't find it hard i've been coming for cell meetings in the morning my teammates will tell you 8 a.m i'm in the office not just for morning 
not just for monthly, I mean for every day. I've been coming for cell meetings. So let's say that every morning, for example, I find it hard to come for cell meeting. Oh my God, I'm not an early morning person. It's difficult for me, blah, 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 blah. And then I have one of my teammates in front of me who's telling me, boss, I can't really come for cell meeting in the morning. No, ah, my husband said, you know, yes, even though I'm doing business full time, my husband said, ah, why is it, why is it not network marketing I'm doing? Why am I always leaving the house very early? Guess what? I'll buy that person's excuse. Do you know why? Because I already have sold an excuse to myself and I bought it. So I'll buy her own excuse. And she, too, when she has lots of downlines, her downlines, in fact, she will not even need to listen to their excuse. If her downlines are not coming for cell meeting in the morning, she will not even query them because I allowed her, you know, her excuse. I'm allowing my own excuse. Guess what I'm doing? I'm raising a bunch of people who are doing things anyhow. And Ambassador Michael Okoli said, you, you know, if you do things anyhow, you, you will not get any result. Nobody gets results doing things anyhow. Making excuses when you should be making money. Then number 10, not creating activities for your team and guiding them. Create activities for your team. People are clueless. They don't know what they should do. People like being led. That's what I've realized in network marketing. People like being told what to do. As a leader to your team, what are you, what are you telling your team to do? What are you guiding them? Not just to tell them, oh, we're having this big event. Invite massively. Check on them. What, is, what method of invitation are you using? Have you done this? Have you placed your ad? Have you done this? Have you done that? How is your ad running? Oh, let, oh, you've only generated 10 leads from an ad you pay 10K for. Oh, no, that is not good. Let me see the lead. Let me see the, um, the post. Let me see your content. Let me see your page. Let me see this. Your target is to hit the six codes. You want to become a wealth, um, 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 you want to become a global stars connector. It's not by word of mouth. What exactly are you doing? Are you consciously doing activities across your legs? Not creating activities for your team. I think this is the final one, number 11, having zero confidence. Yeah, the guy had confidence level. So this one is not from the video. His confidence, he had confidence. I mean, his confidence level was really good, but the problem was his posture. He was sounding unprofessional. He did not dress well. He had no knowledge about the business. As they were just saying nonsense, he was doing nonsense. But his confidence level was good. Your confidence level has to be top-notch in our business. Yes, you're not making millions of naira yet. You're not making billions of naira yet. But talk like a million dollar, you know, like you're making a million dollars. Talk like you, you know where you're going to. I'm not saying where you're not talking to people, you should be exaggerating, like the way the guy was just talking. Eh, you know, don't lie. Don't lie. The guy was saying, you know, one lady joined me in Osaka. The lady is now driving a Lexus. One lady joined me in a, the, lady, the guy is now driving a Prado. And you, you're doing like this Benz. Don't even open your mouth and be saying nonsense, please. The reason I can say that is because I'm dry, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, and my, the people the people I've worked with are chilling as well. Do you understand? So don't say things, don't exaggerate anything. The business is good enough already. I won't come and say, "Oh my God, do you know my mentor has a private jet? Can Ambassador Michael Okoli buy a private jet? Yes, he can buy a private jet. But does he have a private jet no, now? No. So why would I come and tell him my prospect? Oh my God, you don't know this business. This business is amazing." Oh, my leaders, Ambassador Nefo has bought a jet. Ambassador Ronke has bought a jet. Guess what? My own jet is on the way. Wow. Jet sleep. So please, you don't need to, to exaggerate the business. The business is good enough. The business is good enough. And then someone said, um, not being rude. Of course, don't be rude. That's why I already talked about posture. I've already talked about posture. Posture is top notch. Your posture has to be the way you're carrying yourself, the way you're talking. Very, very <laughs> people are laughing at you gently. You must, you must carry yourself well, Lou. Did we get value today, my people? There's a lot of money to be made in our business. Get serious about your business. Get serious about your business. There's, the company wants to pay you. The company wants to lavish you with money. The company wants to take you from Santorini to, to that's Greece already, to uh, Miami, to, to um, Las Vegas, to, to uh, Mauritius, to Seychelles, to Jordan. To, the company wants to spoil you. The company wants to, pay, as a slap you with money, finish you with money. The company wants to finish you with money. Why are you coming to a business that you're supposed to be coming with a, with a truck to come and fetch money? You're coming with a, a, a cup, a tiny cup to fetch money. Your mates are coming with trucks to fetch money from the business. 
The company wants to pay. The company is saying, let me finish you with money. Oh, God. I want you to smell, smell money. I want you to just, 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 just be in money. That's what the company wants to do with you. Some of you are saying, no, no, no. The, the root of the, the, how do you say it again? The root of evil is money. It is easier for the, how do you say it in the Bible again? Um, you know, that, that quote it from the Bible. It is easier. You know, people you say, people, especially poor people, and the people that quote this part of the Bible so well are poor people, people that don't have money. It is easier for a camel, is it camel or a big cow, to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to make it to heaven. That's why you're still broke. Others are making money. Please, there's no, there's no, there's no part of the um, Bible that says, the, you know, uh, 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 the person that suffered the most will make it in heaven, <laughs> will, make, will, will be in heaven. There's no award in heaven for the poorest person. No award in heaven for the poorest person. No award in heaven for the person that struggled the most. You don't have to, you know, continue to struggle through life. That's why I tell people when you join MLM business, get serious about it because it's still the same Bible that said the wisdom of the poor is despised. The wisdom of the poor is disgusting. The wisdom of the poor is, is as in don't even talk. Don't even talk. I'll be telling people, eh, what an elder can see sitting down. You see, you see, you're not seeing shit. You're not seeing anything. Go and make money. You bring value, right? Bring value. What value are you bringing to the table? Nobody cares about how much right now you know. What people care about is what value are you bringing to the table? What value are you bringing to the table? Am I saying being wise is wrong? No, don't be, be wise. But not, don't now be wise without money. Wisdom without money, the Bible says, <laughs> is despised. Sorry, I'm not the one that put, put that part in the Bible. I'm not the one that put that part, part in the Bible. It's, in, it's there, all right? So please, guys, you're more valuable when you're making money. You're more valuable when you're making money. People around you are, you know, are growing. Look at Davido. Davido helped their uncle to win, I, I think, in Oshuno. So if he didn't have the money, if he didn't have the influence, and I'm sure there was a time in his life when he had to get serious about his life, his work ethic and everything, and now he's helping his family. The same thing with you. There's so much money you can make from this business. People in your life don't need to struggle. Why would your children be going to that school in in a... Uh, uh, in Maraba, when they can go to a school, a very classy school, why would they be going to a school in uh, Jukwe? See the name of the place, uh, Jukwe. When you're even saying it, it's not doing you somehow. It's not stressing you, Jukwe. When your children can be going to classy schools, classy schools, you can even fly them abroad or something. Get serious about the business. The business wants to pay you so much money. Okay? All right, so that gets me, that, 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 that's the, the, the last part of my um, training. Please, uh, there are events happening this weekend. Invite for daily presentations. There'll be presentation by 5 p.m. by Mrs. Miracle Morgan. It's going to be fantastic. She's one of the, the best presenters in my team. She's doing am amazingly well. Then um, Tuesday, that will be Mr. Maxwell, another fantastic presenter in the team. Wednesday will be me. Ensure you're inviting us to be. Our daily presentations right now have been getting lots and lots of results. People are making a lot of money right now. It's getting better. It's getting better. Invite your prospect. Ensure that immediately after you invite your prospect to invite them for quick starter guide. Call them. Ask them why they did not take the mastermind mentorship. Follow up on them immediately. Don't be scared of following up on people. Don't be scared of don't be scared of inviting anybody to the presentation because the truth is if you don't invite them why is it and, and I, there was an example i gave one lady yesterday she was telling me how oh my gosh she doesn't know people she doesn't even think she has up to 50 people i went through this girl's phone i was scrolling on a you know that um, um, um this thing used to arrange our contact list i mean the phone used to arrange our contact list so it will start with a then it will go with go to b and all that I was still on a i was still scrolling scrolling i was not asking her who is um abubaka she said i know abubaka she said, you don't know anybody, but you know Abu Bakabi. I kept on scrolling. Who is this person? I know him. Who is this person? Okay, I know this person. And we, we did more than 10 people. Someone that was already telling me, I said, we're still on A. We've gotten 10 people already. Imagine when we now get to B, another 10. Get to C, another 10. Haba, I now asked her a question. If Abu Bakabi, you're scared of connecting Abu Bakabi, because I saw an Abu Bakabi on her list. I said, you're scared of, you know, connecting Abu Bakabi, right? Good. Do you think... If Abubakar opens up a restaurant in Abuja now and he's calling his friends, do you think Abubakar will be scared to call you to come to his restaurant that he's launching his restaurant? The girl answered me, no, she doesn't think. I said, yes, exactly. So why are you scared of talking about your own business? 
you've got into business. People are leveraging on your network. They are leveraging on you, but you're not leveraging on them. That's wrong. If someone is selling hair in your life, you, le- you, you, you patronize them. Now it's time for your business. You're scared of talking to them about your business. Why? Anyway, let the wise hear, okay? So we have different events, like I said earlier. Um, there's this quote I saw from um, um, Mr. Moses, and I love this quote. He said, and if, it's from Adjonak. He said, if you understood residual income, you walk through a brick wall to get it. I will personally not be able to break a wall. That's the truth. I cannot be able to break a wall. But if you told me residual income was at the other side, for those of you that don't understand income, money that you work for at the beginning and you're still, still getting paid, whether you're doing much or not, you're still getting paid. So if someone shows me residual income at the other side of the world, I'll break that wall. I will break it. I don't have energy, but where the energy will come from to break that wall, I'll break it. 